Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our satisfactory Let's Play. So we're over here at the oil field. I've laid down some infrastructure. I've got the oil extractors all hooked up. Well, not hooked up, I got them laid down. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of oil here and we don't have the means to transport it currently. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building a small temporary, I, I'm, I'm building a lot of these really temporary uh, factories that don't end up being temporary, unfortunately. But for now, this one's actually gonna be temporary. This one is just going to produce some rubber and some plastic for us while we unlock the technologies to get us to trains and the ability to package said products mainly oil and fuel and that kind of stuff because once we're able to do that then we can start transporting it around but currently we have to build it on site we have to uh, extract it and then refine it on site or else we've got to send pipes all over the world and that's probably not going to be a great idea either. So what we're going to be doing here is, well this is backwards so let's fix that right away. Where do you want our production? Oil extractor. We want you to go that way. And another thing that's unfortunate, due to the terrain around here, there's really no place to build except on the water, which is unfortunate because, you know, I don't want to build everything over water. That's kind of silly, but it's going to be what we're going to do for the time being. So we're only going to be building a small factory. Um, I mean, I have enough crude oil, or I think it's a thousand and eighty crude oil between the six uh, extractors, but we're only going to be using two small ones here. We got an impure one that does 60 over there, and then a, reg a normal one that does 120 over here. And we're only going to be, I think it's six, six refineries. I think it's only six refineries that we're going to need. Originally, I was going to be building a giant uh, oil plant, uh, oil refinery, but. That just seems very excessive for what we're currently doing. So I'm gonna be laying these out somewhere around here. And then we also, along with, well, let me throw one of these down real quick. We're gonna going to be using the normal plastic and the normal rubber uh, recipes here. And they also produce heavy oil residue, which we're gonna have to do something which. Um, and unfortunately, since I don't need fuel currently, since I can't package it, I can't use it to fuel our trucks, and I also don't have fuel generators, because those are unlocked in tier six, so I can't use the fuel there. The only other option I really have is to turn them into petroleum coke here, which I could use it to fuel coal power plants. Um, I don't exactly know how efficient, it says it's less efficient, so I don't know how good it's gonna be. Um, I think for right now, though, I'm probably just going to be, um, what's the, what am I looking for? I'm just going to be throwing them into an awesome sink and getting rid of them that way. So let me start laying down our oil refinery here. All right. I know I've said this before, but theoretically, as soon as I turn this power on, everything should just work. We got, we got yellows. Okay, we got yellows. We got green. We are currently making rubber. Alright, very good. We got yellows and greens here. So that means we are definitely making plastic. Wonderful. Alright, plastic is coming out. Great. Everything's going wonderful so far. Alright, yeah, so this is our little setup here. Basically, we got two refineries making ourselves rubber. We got four making plastic. And then we also have two more making petroleum coke, which is going to be used to, oh, actually these are the petroleum coke. Two making petroleum coke, which are going to be used as the fuel for our truck stop here. And also gonna get synced into the awesome sink.
Alright, looks like everything's going A-OK -okay so far. Oh, actually, you know what I want to do? I want to check and see how efficient petroleum coke is. Uh, let's see, I don't really need this right now, so let me take you. Alright, so petroleum coke. 2.4 seconds. Oh. Okay, oh, that's compacted coal, so that's not normal coal. Um, do I have? I don't have normal coal. I can't really check it with normal coal, but... Yeah, so this burns way, way faster. Six seconds fast, faster than compacted coal. And I'm sure regular coal is somewhere in the middle, so probably like three to four seconds faster than regular coal. So I could use it to power a few coal plants, but might not be worth it. No, I'll have to think about that. But everything is getting sent off to our truck stop. Which is awesome. Yeah, I just combined it onto one belt because it doesn't particularly matter, I don't think. Oh, there we go. We're making 80 and... What, what is it? 40? 80 and 40? 80 and 40. Yeah, so we're making 80 and 40. And that is our tiny little oil refinery. So now we can continue progressing our milestones. So let us go see what we actually need for that. Time for another button pushing montage. Oh yeah. Alright, let us go over these milestones that we just unlocked. So the gas mask one, like I talked about last episode, we're not actually going to use the gas mask because you can just blow up the fart clouds now, so they're not really a problem. But we also get some extra inventory slots, which is always wonderful. And then over in the alternative fluid transport here, we get the unlock the packager machine, which uh, changes fluids into you know, like barrels and canisters of various things. Also got the industrial fluid buffer, which is really cool looking. Um, so that is nice. And then the most important thing in tier five here is, well actually oil processing and industrial manufacturing are the two really important ones here. Unlocks the manufacturer, which has four inputs for building the more advanced uh, products such as heavy modular frames, computers, and things like that, which also unlocks computers, which we will need for more advanced tech. Also unlocks the truck, which is a much, much bigger version of the tractor. And it also unlocks the other two parts for uh, project assembly here, which I've already started making the versatile framework for. Since I have uh, all the parts ready to go for those anyways, I just shove them in the bins and let it make its thing. But let's talk about the manufacturer here. And what we need, what is our next big goal? So here is the manufacturer. This thing is Chonger. This thing is giant. So here's some of the things we can make with it. So. I got the alternative motor recipe we could make with it. I don't know if we'll actually use that, but but here's the big important one, the heavy modular frames. We really need to start producing these because they're A, used in the milestones for tier six, but they're also used in a lot of pro, uh, products later on in the game. So we're gonna have to start manufacturing these ASAP. Here's one of the problems though. Steel pipes. We're already maxed out on our steel pipes, so this is this is bad already at the get-go, which means we need to increase our steel production. The encased industrial beams, that's fine. We're already producing them, and we're not really using them, except for what we need for building here and there, so we've got plenty extras of those. Another problem, screws. 200 screws per minute to make two heavy modular frames a minute. That is not great because I'm only producing in excess of 20 or 40 screws a minute right now. So that means 
we probably need to build a dedicated screw factory. So we need a screw factory. We need to up our steel pipe production. And we're probably gonna have to up our modular frame production. I think we're making 20, 20, we're making 20 something modular frames right now. So in the best case scenario, we can make four heavy modular frames a minute. Not that great. So we're gonna have to do some expansion very quickly here. Fortunately, also these suckers use a lot of power. And all right, let's go to the other thing we're gonna have to start producing here. Crystal oscillators, we're definitely gonna be needing these. We'll have to make some of these. All of these parts are not really a problem. Uh, computers, the next big thing that we need after the heavy modular frame. So circuit boards, we don't make those currently. More screws, oh boy, we're gonna need a lot of screws. Cables, not a big deal. I think we make plenty right now. Actually, no, we don't make plenty. I think we make 30 a minute. So possibly gonna have to expand our copper factory finally. Plastic, right now 45 a minute isn't a huge problem for us, but we can easily expand our plastic and rubber production now. Especially with the fact that we've unlocked uh, the uh, alternative transport so we could start packaging them up and shipping all of the fluids around if we need to. Let's see, what else can we do with this? That I think that's the only things we need the manufacture for, but... So, already just unlocking this and trying to get to tier 6 now is going to be a big hassle. Also, our, our power production, max consumption is already at 3,400 right now. I just, I just increased our power production and already I'm probably going to have to beeline it to Logistics Mark IV so that we can unlock the fuel generators. The fuel generators are going to be the primary way we're going to be increasing our power production from here until we get nuclear power, which I think is in tier 8. So we're going to need a lot of fuel generators. But to build those, we need heavy modular frames. So we're going to cir so circle in way back to what we were talking about before. We're going to have to start ramping up our production of a bunch of iron products so that we could start making heavy reinforced modular, or yeah, heavy, heavy modular frames. Whew, all right. Now that we're done talking about that, let me go try and figure this out. All right, I have figured out step one of our plan. We are going to build the steel factory prop, or steel foundry proper. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna to be doing compacted steel ingots. So that means that we need to make compacted coal. Currently there are two sulfur deposits that are anywhere near us. There's one way up here, but that's just way too far away to deal with. So we've got the sulfur deposit here, and then we've got the one that we're already using for the black powder slash compacted coal factory we have over there. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna decommission the black powder compact coal factory and we're going to use the compacted coal from there to feed the steel foundry. And then the coal here and the sulfur from up here, we're going to combine those together to make more compacted coal, which will be used to feed the steel factor, steel foundry. So that should greatly increase the amount of steel we're producing, which then will increase the amount of encased industrial beams that we will be producing because we need more of those if we want to be making any sort of reasonable amount of heavy modular frames. So that is going to be step one. I've got the first floor laid out and framed out. So on this bottom floor here, we're going to be making all of our concrete for the encased industrial beams and also all of the compacted coal will be uh, produced here as well which will get sent up to the second floor which will be all of our smelters which will be turning our coal and our iron into steel ingots 
And then after that, all of that will be sent up to another floor. Will it will be turned into steel products. Right now I've got the concrete actually all ready to go. I've got it all piped up. I've got the machines all ready. I've got the truck stop on this side ready to go. I also have the truck stop I have on the other side, which I'll show you guys ready to go as well. So I'm gonna have uh, this truck stop here is gonna be for concrete. And this one over here is going to be for the sulfur that we will be bringing down from up over here. So these two are gonna come in this side and then I've got these three um, trucks that are going to be dropping stuff off on the other side where I've placed the one truck stop down already. The other two are going to go right next to it and drop off our coal and sulfur and our iron. And then it's going to be distributed on this floor or up over to the next floor. And away we go. So obviously not a lot of progress has been made, but I wanted to make sure before I finalized the actual like dimensions of the building this time, I wanted to have all of the machines fit because I spent a lot of time on our modular frame factory just trying to make things fit within the dimensions I had created, which kind of screwed me for a little while there. So hopefully we won't have that problem this time. But now that this floor is pretty laid out, I just got to do the other two truck stops and then get the coal and the sulfur hooked up down here. And then this floor will basically be done for all the functional stuff and then all I have to do down here is all of the cosmetic goodies. So I'm going to go start working on that and probably start working on the second floor. Ladies and gentlemen, after many trials and tribulations, I present to you our new steel foundry in all of its glory. Let us go take a tour. So I showed you progress when we had basically the foundation down and then also when we had the first floor done. And as you can see here, we got three truck stations that are bringing in the raw materials. Uh, we got sulfur, coal, iron, and I think limestone coming in over here that is getting fed into the bottom floor here, which is all fine and dandy right now. I got all of my machines running. I didn't wait to turn it on. Uh, I didn't wait for you guys to turn it on this time. I wanted to make sure everything was actually functioning so I didn't have to start a recording and then spend about two or three hours troubleshooting to making sure it was actually working. So here, everything is functional and working. And also this blue slug is back. So the game, actually, it's been so long that I've been recording this episode. The game is now updated to 8.2. And during that time, all of the power slugs and stuff that I actually collected already have started to respawn. I don't know if that's because of the update. Actually, I have... This is the second time. I don't know if there's just something weird about their spawning, but this is the second time now I've seen these guys respawn since uh, that update so that's kind of cool free power shards awesome I love it anyways here is the first floor we'll just get up on top of here real quick and give you a better overlook you know it's basically same stuff you usually see to stay pile machines making various things we got our concrete being made over there got our compact coal being made over here also take a look out at our beautiful window here that sees down below to two more of our truck stations which are bringing in more uh, sulfur and I think iron I believe also uh, the coal that we had previously tapped for our old plant is also getting fed in over this way and now let us go check out the second floor oh as you can see I have actually started to use hyper tubes. This building's actually only three floors tall, but I made a slight boo-boo when I was designing this building, which is I wasn't really taking into account 
how high I was making each floor. So when I tried to do a set of stairs up to the, to the second floor, it didn't quite work. I did some shenanigans to make it work over on that side over there, but I decided instead of just trying to finagle it for the rest of the building, I would just use hyper tubes to get up and down the floors. So here we are on the second floor. It is, oh, you don't see that hole there. Nothing, nothing to see there. Um, as you can see, it's not super, I don't know, detailed if you want it. Um, I've decided that I'm going to spend less time trying to make super detailed builds because A, I'm not amazing at them. There are definitely way better content creators to watch if you want to see crazy, beautiful build. My builds will be okay, solid okay builds, but they will be functional. So on this floor here, we are going to be turning all of our iron and our compact coal into steel. Basically, that is the only thing this floor does, which is why I have a bunch of extra space here. So we have a cool window in the floor. See down below. So quick here. Also, I'd like to point out that all you have to do is click the middle mouse button and it'll pick up whatever you are looking at. I only learned about that while I was doing this build. Very embarrassing. I'm very embarrassed by that. Anyways, over here I've got a little break room thing that I made just to fill in some space. I really wish there was some more sort of decorations we can put down, like chairs and whatnot, because I'd fill this area with chairs to overlook the uh, the cliffs on this side here a little bit. You got our miners down below there. Also, this truck. I gotta explain something about this truck. I have no idea how this truck got up here. This truck was parked down over by the crack over there. And then one time when I logged back into the game, the truck was magically up here. No explanation. You know what? I'm just going to leave it here. You are. This is now your new home, sir. So we got a nice, beautiful windowed roof here. And that is basically all there is to this floor. Nothing exciting going on here. So let us go check out the third floor. Uh, again, like the other building I did over there, our modular frame factory, which will hopefully soon be our heavy modular frame factory. I decided to do a bunch of windows just to brighten things up a little bit and to make it not look quite as boring. But on this floor here, we have seven machines currently making us steel beams. Well, that's 100 steel beams that are currently being created. Um, also, as you can see, I didn't quite get around to doing all the numbers on the signs yet, so they're all number 10 right now, but there are 44, I believe, there are 44 constructors here that are making steel tubes. And then the steel tubes are being sent over along with the concrete to this 20 row of assemblers, which are making us our 60... Uh, in case steel beams a minute and all of those are getting fed down back to the first floor so let us go back downstairs so i've decided i kind of love hyper tubes i think we might be using them more in the future so all of the stuff that this factory is making is being fed over to this truck stop here and it is all getting sent into here and then from there, it's going over to our transport hub. Which I'm still partially utilizing, even though, like I said, eventually we're going to tear this down and I don't know, rebuild a proper one somewhere where I don't have to worry about truck traffic, screwing everything up. But anyways, it is coming over here, parking here, and dropping all the stuff off into this truck stop like it was with the old steel factory or foundry whatever you'd like to call it but right now all of the bins are already full so everything is getting dumped into an awesome sink for the time being so it's good to build excess but pretty soon all of these encased industrial beams 
will be utilized in making our heavy modular frames. So that is going to be not my next project because my next project is actually going to be the oil. We are going to beef up our oil uh, production. And we are going to do that because yet again, we have already maxed out our power. Literally, I think it's two episodes. Two episodes later, again, we have already we're already uh, hitting our max consumption that is higher than our production. So what we're going to be doing is over where the rubber and plastic factory is, we are also going to start making fuel and that fuel is going to be used in our fuel generators. So we will have another power plant. Although this actually needs modular frames. So you know what? I might actually do the heavy modular frame factory first. I'm just going to reutilize this building here. I might blow it out this way. I don't know, probably a dozen, you know, tiles or so. so I'll get a bunch more space to include the heavy modular frame production. So the transport hub is going to go away very, very soon. But anyways, guys, that I think is going to have to do it for today's episode. Also, I'd like to apologize for how long this episode has taken to come out. I have had a lot of things going on. I'm just going to, you know, the short version is life. Life has happened and a lot of things have happened. And this episode has taken many, many moons longer than I wish it had. But hopefully the next one will not take two months for you guys to see. But anyways, guys, thank you all again for watching. And I'll see you again next time.